The dynamic mixing head is one of the high rail modular print heads that can combine two or optionally more sources of material and actively blend them by spinning the baffles in the mixing chamber. Here we see an accelerated recording, the blades aren't really spinning that fast, where we're going from mostly part two or the yellow material and we're changing the ratios to be mostly part one or the blue material. You'll see the color change from yellow to green toward blue as we put down more and more material. In this first print, we're printing on paper with a hydrogel, which is made primarily of xanthan gum and water to demonstrate the capabilities of the head. The DMH takes output from two other heads. In this case, we're using syringe dispensing heads or SDS 30s. It's designed for low viscosity materials under about 50,000 centipoids. We use an M703 to clone the second head to the first head so that they're both printing the same stuff or displacing the same volume of material at the same time. But then we modify the flow characteristics of each head so that we go from about a 90% yellow, 10% blue at the start of the print we wind up at about 10% yellow, 90% blue by the end of the print. You're able to clone whatever slots you want to with an M703 command, and with an M221 to each of the heads, you can tell one head to do 75% or 32% or whatever you want, and then tell the other head to do 25% or 68% or whatever the, co the complementary number would be, so that 100% of the prescribed output is put out for each print move. Now here we see a second print. This time we're printing on glass because we didn't want the water to be sucked out by the paper underneath. Uh, there is a little air bubble there in that third pass, no problem. It's always important to make sure you can avoid any trapped gases because these will add delay as the gas acts as a shock absorber. For information about high rail, how high rail uses these G-codes, you can go to highrail3d.net and on the table of contents on the left, click on G-code explained where we have details and examples for each of our custom G-codes as well as the standard G-codes that we use. Pricing is also available from highrail3d.net or highrail3d.com. If you have any questions, please email us, highrail3d at highrail3d.com or highrail3d at gmail.com. These modular heads work on any of our printers. Uh, the one shown here is our System 30N. Please reach out to us if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.